Hey everybody, this is Clayku from Next Gen Windows bringing you another Windows 8 app review. Today's app review is obviously Khan Academy. Khan Academy is pretty much uh, your online source for finding out anything academic wise, whether it's science, humanities, test prep, math, and basically everything you see listed right here in these squares. Uh, one thing you will notice off the front is obviously this is the main screen here when you open up the app. The one thing I did notice is uh, that these things here they're not the same size obviously uh, it bothers me a little bit because you know I want everything like exactly the same which is why I like Metro so much but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking the reason why they're like this is because these are more important subjects I guess than these over here and these are what people will probably click on more than these but aside from the point getting back to the app here's the main screen right here it's in the usual Metro style grid layout uh, you see, you have Learn here, New and Noteworthy, which is basically their latest videos that are and the latest videos that are noteworthy. And then also, if you want to scroll over, you can scroll over and you can see all of the latest. You can see downloads over here, and also you can see that I'm signed in. Now, uh, when you first get the application, you'll have a sign-in option. You have a choice between signing in using Facebook or your Google account. I just use my Google account since it's simple and I don't have a Facebook. Uh, but also another thing you can see is uh, manage downloads so you can see how many downloads you have and how much space you've used for all your downloads so back to the beginning of the application you'll see we're gonna start and we're gonna click on math so they have plenty of subjects you know math science test prep finance and economics and so on but when we click on math you can see a whole bunch of uh, subjects under math that you can choose from all of these which have categories underneath them like individual videos uh, underneath them over here they just give you a brief description of what each subject is so you can see pretty much uh, under all of these things uh, they tell you how many videos are there and if you can decide to click on these or you can decide to click over here so under arithmetic and pre-algebra they have addition and subtraction multiplication and division and a whole lot of a whole lot more sorry my mouse is going a little crazy but they have a whole lot more uh, you know under each subject so if you go to algebra you'll see all the subjects under algebra you can click on and you'll see how many videos they have for each subject so they have quite a lot of videos for each subject for instance we're under algebra right now let's go to a system for solving the king's problems I won't be able to exactly play the videos because it might cut out the stream or whatever but I'll try my best to see what happens so when we click on this you can see that it brings all the 26 videos that they have available uh, you can decide to count if you want to pause the thing or go slowly. Uh, you see they have about 26 videos and all the videos vary from different things that you'll be learning under you know whatever subject that just went under so and then they give you a description of this general uh, topic list right here and you can read it right there and then they also give you a choice of downloading the videos so you have a choice you can either download all of the videos start watching them this is basically just streaming them or you can like right click or hold down on one of the videos or multiple of them and it allows you to select them and when you select them you can hit download and it will download it you'll see the progress bar and now it's finished so when you go back to your download section which I'll show in the future of the video uh, you'll see that the video is there so just no trolls tolls and system of equations that is the one I just downloaded so when we go back you see a whole bunch of their other subjects over here geometry trigonometry calculus uh, probability statistics linear algebra and so on they have a lot of subjects so I won't read them all otherwise this video could take hours but when we go back we'll just take a look at each subject and see what kind of things they have underneath each one so they have chemistry computer science so if we click on computer science uh, you can see like Python and all these coding stuff and factorial programs and stuff like that a lot of stuff that you'll probably be learning in college or you already have learned if you did take these classes in college or even high school if you were in a really good high school uh, so you can go back and you can see all the videos they have for each one LeBron asks uh, you can keep seeing all these things and these are basically questions I guess that LeBron James have, has actually asked so how does a basketball apply a force to a shooter's hand you can click on those if you want to see what the video is about uh, when you click on the video it'll play the video but I won't click on it because it'll cut out the stream so let me go back you can see all the things under science and under finance and economics they have a, quite a lot of uh, subjects too alone under core finance they have 197 videos that's a lot for just this subject alone when you click on this subject over here you can see more you can see they have a value in investing you have 12 
uh, they have more like that over there and I don't know what one thing I don't like though is you can see that when I was clicking on them they weren't just it wasn't just letting me see this over here I had to click on them and then it brought me into their section I was hoping that you know I could just see how many videos there were before I did anything so I could click on it and then it would show me this and then I can click on this if I wanted to go you know and see the videos but I guess that's not something that they have done but you can see they have quite a lot of stuff Greek debt crisis uh, macroeconomics microeconomics currency banking and money they have a quite a lot of uh, subjects that you can watch stuff under you can see some talks and interviews same format as before you can see the guy who cre one of the guys who created Khan Academy which is this guy right here and then you can also go back and see humanities where they have American civics history and art history and then they have test prep so if you're taking SAT, ACT, GMAT, California standards test so on and so forth you, ha you can see plenty of videos that they have for each so you can see SAT math uh, test section you can see ITT, G J E E. you know I don't know what that is but uh, it's another standardized test I'm assuming and then you can just keep going through and look at all of them now under new and noteworthy it will still be new and noteworthy actually is all of the subjects he, that are inside here but they just show the newest and noteworthy ones uh, in a nice laid out format so for instance if we can't click on any of these top things but when we click on how many bags of potato chips you can see that the video is loading and I guess I was able to actually load the video but you can see how many bags of potato chips do people eat and then the guy talks about it for this amount of time and then so let's 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 see what happens. I'll give you about maybe five seconds. And that's about it. Otherwise, copyright, you know, about that stuff on YouTube. But you can see how the video formats are. You know, he has almost like an electronic chalkboard, and he talks about the subject and teaches people and educates people about it and that's how his subject that's how all the videos are on Khan Academy except for obviously the interviews and stuff and now that we go all the way over here to downloads you can't click on the downloads tab but you can see your downloads here and if you want to manage downloads you can click manage downloads and you can see all the downloads that you have however the one thing I did notice is that if you go back you see that it says I have three downloaded but when I click on manage downloads I have five so that's something that's a little confusing I'm not sure what's going on there uh, and also I don't know how to fix this since I'm not a programmer but I did notice that uh, when you see this uh, when a sub when a title is very long it kind of makes it look like the title these two titles are not separately different aside from the capital it kinda of looks like they just meld in together and it looks like one long uh, title so I don't know, maybe it's something they can fix with that. You see it here too, problems and then solving systems of equations. You see all of that stuff. But aside from that, this is how you delete uh, downloads that you currently have. So we can right click or you can just tap and hold. You can right click or tap and hold and you can just you know select as many as you want. And then you can hit this delete button down here. and then Or you can allow yourself to search, which will use the search widget. Or use settings. So before we delete, we're going to check out settings and settings you know is obviously the settings uh, charm that you see on all Windows 8 and you can allow yourself to sign out terms of service privacy policy about so if you click about it'll show the Khan Academy about and you know nice and clean when we go back we can take a look at feedback which takes you to the Windows Store permissions doesn't really have that many permissions except for uh, app to allow the app to show notifications I'll say no because I don't use this app and then rate and review which takes you to the Windows Store so that's all the uh, settings that it has for this application now if we want to delete your downloads as I said before you can just hit this delete button after you selected it and you can see they're slowly going away and now they're all gone so when you go back you'll see that now all the megabytes used for the downloads is back to zero the amount downloaded is zero and everything is zero and also one thing I did notice is that I don't exactly know what the point of signing in is. You guys might have to tell me. I think I'm thinking the reason that you'd want to sign in is if maybe you downloaded something and it maybe it ties to your account. It's on the computer, but it's tied to your account. So maybe the reason why I had five downloads is because, but it only showed three, is because when I signed in, I downloaded three, 
and when I signed out I was down I downloaded two so maybe it was only showing the downloads that this account uh, downloaded so that you know other people didn't get confused if you had like six people using the app but aside from that this app is pretty much it there's not really much to it you can see that if I right click or swipe up from the bottom you get this search over here and then the last thing that we're gonna take a look at is the snap view how it looks like in functions so when we snap it to the left side as I usually do you can see it's a nice clean layout you can scroll up and down if there was any scrolling if we click on math you can see it lays it out in arithmetic pre-algebra like before we click on arithmetic it brings out the subcategories here and when we click on the subcategory it brings in even a, a deeper subcategory I'm guessing this is how many videos each thing has when we click on that it shows the video and then you can click on the video and it shows the video just right there I'll pause it though because you know you guys can watch it if you need it but yeah that's pretty much how the snap view works and that's pretty much how the app itself works you can see full screen right here and that's about it uh, this app review was Khan Academy for Windows 8 I'm, I know they have a lot of other apps for other platforms for it too but if you guys are the type that use this thing uh, go ahead and download it it's a really good app it's never crashed for me I've never had any problems for it but I've only used it just to test it uh, if you have any other questions about the app or anything else I should review, leave a comment or leave an inbox message for me, uh, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.